Hello everyone, hope you're doing well, and in this video I want to show you how to automatically upload videos to YouTube using Zapier automation. So let's go ahead and go to Zapier here. And you're going to want to create an account. And after you've created an account, um, you can create automation, but this automation is better than if than that this is very good because the automation I have is upload my video files from Dropbox to YouTube and I have my recording files from Bandicam go straight to Dropbox and then that will upload them to YouTube and I do that because in my file explorer you have Dropbox as a local a local location on your drive so here I can have my Bandicam folder and it automatically uploads to that so to do Zapier you create things called zaps which are automation things so it's kind of like if then that but it has more functionality in my opinion so I'll go here and look at my zaps and here I have a zap called upload to Dropbox files to YouTube as videos Great, so if we want to create a new zap, we'll go ahead over here to the make a zap button, and it should give us a whole list of things to choose from, and so from here I'm just going to choose Dropbox, and you can search for again hundreds of apps, and so you just choose Dropbox, and then trigger new file and folder and save and continue okay I'm going to use my account save and continue and then choose a folder And I'm assuming that's a problem with Dropbox, the 100 megabytes. So I'm thinking if I used Mega or Google Drive instead, it might work better. But 100 megabytes is fine for me because Bandicam does a really good job of compressing. Great, okay, so just fetch and continue. then you would go down to the action step so what we want to happen to that new file that it sees continue so now we want to select YouTube and again you can do a lot with this not it's not amazing but you can do a lot which is basically automation which really helps is automatically uploading YouTube videos and then upload a video to my account okay and then my account save and continue and this is really neat. You can um, set video descriptions and titles. I know you can already do this on YouTube. It's just it's neat that you can set separate links and tags for your automated the upload videos. So if you ever wanted to find out which videos were uploaded automatically, you can go ahead and search for tags years down the road. So let's go ahead and continue. And the other thing is the um, mobile one let you do tags. So it's saying it wants a um title and you can just tell it to use the file name for the title um i'm not going to mess with that right now i'm just going to actually i'll use the size that's good metadata to have and then this and then let's see for the video it should just choose the there we go the new file and folder that's our trigger okay file name file should want that number one here hmm, let me let me see here I'm gonna want this right here new file and folder it should just be that should work 
work, let's go ahead and um, continue. Privacy status, I like to do unlisted so I can go ahead or or private, go ahead and tag it and prepare it for upload and then publish So that's cool. You can set um, publish dates, which I don't know what they're saying about YouTube Partner here because YouTube used to let everyone be a partner, but I guess they changed the rules. So let's go ahead and continue. Notify subscribers. None of this really matters. Continue. Then you can just test upload to YouTube and save your zap. And anytime you put a video file in that folder, it'll automatically upload to YouTube. Um, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below and I'll respond.